Welcome to this lesson on how to create WBS or work breakdown structure in Primavera P6. So once again, my name is Obalim and I welcome you to my class. If you notice, this is a simple project that we've been building in this particular series. Uh, please, you can refer to my previous videos. I'll leave the link in the description below to those previous videos, which of course would explain to you how we got to this point. So we have been able to carry out instructions one in the first video, instructions two and three in the second video, as well as instruction four in the third video. So we're now under the instruction five, which talks about create the WBS, the activities, the dependencies, duration, resources, as well as cost. But we're gonna be taking it one after the other, beginning from the WBS. So once again, I jump in into that my project within Primavera. Don't forget, this was where we left it the last time, where we created the community health center. So all I simply need to do to create the WBS is I right click on it and then I click on open project. So once I click on open project, Primavera will take me straight to the activities page. Remember, the page we were before now is the projects page. This is the page where we were before now. And when I opened the project, it took me straight to the activities page. The activities page is where you enter your project activities, not your WBS. So it means to create the WBS, I still need to go one more step. WBS means work breakdown structure. It's a way of breaking down our project into smaller, more manageable components. In order to be able to create the WBS, from my activities page, I simply navigate to the WBS page. So you can see the WBS page as one of those icons in the directory, which is the bar by my left. I can click on it, and once I click on it, it takes me to the WBS page. Usually I like to expand this page a little bit so I can have more space here within the table. Don't also forget that you can also assess your WBS from going to the project menu. If I click on project menu, it drops down. You can also see WBS from here. So if I went through this place, it would also bring me to this very page. If I go back to my brief, in this table, there are only three items in the WBS, which are the phase one groundwork, the phase two building structure, and the phase three interior work. And those are the three items we want to create in our work breakdown structure. So I come back again to my WBS page in Primavera. All I simply need to do to keep it simple, I right click on that first line where I have the title of the project and click on my add button. I repeat it again, note, right clicking on that same first line and then I add again. And then I do it for the third time. I right click on it again, and then I add. So you can see automatically Primavera creates that phase one and calls it CHC1. CHC is the project ID. So it takes the project ID and the first phase is one. Then the second one is two and the third one is three. I go back to my brief again. The first phase is groundwork. So I simply copy groundwork I selecting and doing control C, and then I come back to my Primavera. So under the WBS name, I paste it there, and that's my groundwork. Then I go back again to my brief. The second phase is the building structure. So I copy, and then I come to this portion, and then I paste it. And finally, the third one is interior work. Again, I copy. And then I come to this section and I paste it. So with that, I've been able to create the WBS for the simple project we're using as illustration for this particular training. If I want to see my WBS as a tree or as a chart, because WBS is usually a hierarchical decomposition, all I simply need to do is in the tools bar, you can see the chart view from here. And when I click on the chart view, lo and behold, it shows me my work breakdown structure, which are the three phases for this particular project. And of course, in order not to lose track, 
I need to quickly go back to my Gantt chart. So I go back to my tools bar, then click on Gantt chart, and it takes me back to the page where I entered the information from. Next is now for us to enter our activities. And to do that, we're going to be working primarily from the activities page. So I go back to my activities. I have the phases now showing up here in readiness for entering the activities. I hope this particular lesson on how to create WBS has been quite informative for you. Once again, I want to thank you for watching and then I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you need a comprehensive training in Primavera P6, you can contact me for a one-on-one -on -one training or you can purchase any of my courses from the description below. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.